Earlier today we did a video on oversizing and um, the advantages of oversizing. What's panels. oversizing? Putting more panels on the inverter. Putting more panels than what the inverter is rated for. Yeah. Okay. So putting six kilowatts of panels, for example, on a five kilowatt inverter. Exactly right. So yeah. we just came down to the warehouse to have a look at a few inverters and how a, a good design is very important when you're choosing to oversize or whether or not to oversize. So there's two things that came into account. Yeah. What CEC allows us to do mm -hmm. and what the inverter can actually do. So I'll start with this inverter here, which is a SunGrow um, hybrid, which yeah. is an awesome battery inverter. Um, its spec sheet says it's, it can do 6.5 kilowatts worth of solar, which is great because it's a 5 kilowatt output inverter, but it's allowed 6.5 kilowatts worth of solar. And you can still get your rebate if you put 6 kilowatts of solar onto that 5 kilowatt inverter, you'll still get your government rebate. Exactly right. Okay. So the government rebate on this actually allows you up to 6.63 kilowatts of solar. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you go put 6.63 kilowatts on it. Yeah. Because the inverter says it will only take 6.5. Got it. So What's that's important to know. Cool. Stick to the inverter spec. If the inverter spec is lower, stick to the inverter spec. Um, moving on to this little SMA here. It's only a tiny little 2.5 kilowatt inverter, but its spec sheet says it can actually take five kilowatts worth of solar. So it's important here that we don't stick five kilowatts on here because the CEC guidelines, if I take 2.5 kilowatt times 33%. Which is I the limit. 3.3 yeah. kilowatt. Yeah. 3.3 kilowatts is the max you can put on there. Yeah. Fronius, Solar Edge. So the Fronius, uh, an awesome hybrid inverter. Mm -hmm. Pretty new Fronius can now work with LG Chem. Um, Fronius actually tell us that this can take eight kilowatts worth of solar which is awesome, but if we put eight kilowatts of solar in here, we're not gonna get paid by, by a rebate by the government. Again, it's limited to 6.65 kilowatts because- Of the government regulation. Rebate. Yeah. And lastly, Solar Edge, which works with the little DC optimizers. Um, solar Edge say, all good for 6.7 kilowatts worth of solar, but gotta keep it to 6.6 .6 to stick within our rules and 33%. Mm. So, to recap, all of these three can take huge amounts of solar, but mm -hmm. we're limited by the government rebate. This one here, we're actually limited by the inverter's capabilities. Yeah. So you can, with inverters, put more solar than what the inverter is, is essentially. So if it's a five kilowatt inverter, they actually, that's the output. They can generally handle six or seven kilowatts yeah. worth of solar panels. Yeah. But if you exceed it by too much, uh, the government actually won't pay you your solar rebate. Exactly right. And then... That's bad.